Anthony, thank you. Well, schools across our area are trying to navigate the pandemic that doesn't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon. And parents, students and teachers have voiced their opinions. A lot is really still up in the air and our South Carolina reporter Greg Suskin got a look at what could be the norm for thousands of students in Fort Mill. He joins us live now, Greg. Yeah, just like so many other school districts, it's not clear here in Fort Mill if students will even be going back to school immediately, and parents have demanded an online option. It's one that won't look anything like what students were doing back in the spring. As more than 16,000 students in Fort Mill get ready for school, what they're getting ready for is still a question mark for parents. So as a parent, I'm thinking that we maybe should stay at home for homeschooling. Whether it's alternating days, going three days a week and then two days in between online. You know, uh, to me, that sounds like a perfect idea. On campus, plans haven't been set, but yesterday, Fort Mill schools unveiled a virtual academy. As many as 15% of parents surveyed had interest in online learning for their children. That's more than 2,000 potential students. It'll look a lot like a full school day, says Joe Burke with the district. Attendance will count. There will be specific times for things. You're going to have live instruction coupled with video instruction, coupled with group works. In order to do online school, students must have access to a computer and high speed internet, complete an online school readiness checklist, follow a daily schedule. Elementary and middle school students will be in the program for a year, high school students for a semester. The district says it will not be an extra burden on teachers because they will either be teaching virtual academy only or in the classroom. Figuring out how in-school learning will work is still weeks away. We don't know. We could be told a week from now that we're having to shut down again, or we could be told, hey, a week from now, everything is, the curve is down and we're going to go full and you guys can do whatever you want to. Yeah, now I did ask the district just when the online registration will begin for the virtual academy. They said there's no date exactly at this point that's been set, but they say parents should look out for it over the next couple weeks. Genevieve. All right, Greg, so a lot to figure out there. Greg Suskin reporting live for us tonight. Thank you. Well, Channel 9 is extensively covering what the next school year could look like in the Carolinas. You can find our coverage, including where CMS stands on the WSOC app.